power shy away, come to take the throne. To conquer world powers, bring Jake the home. I'm quarterbacking like Jake DeLone. Like Mount Rushmore, I got a face of stone. First and foremost, I'm gonna say Kahala, but now you how about Shema Mashiach Yahushai. We're the Hebrew Israelites, we come here week in, week out, to tell you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans that y'all the Israelites that the Bible speaks of, and that the so-called white man is the goddamn devil that the Bible speaks of. That's right, right. right. And for the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans to repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Matter of fact, you get Jeremiah 3 and 22. But granted, you know, we're known for kind of going hard against our people. I'm guilty of it, but our our we our people need it, man. Y'all got some hard heads out here. Hold Jeremiah three. Go to Ezekiel. Uh, was that three and seventeen? That make make thy forehead hard against their forehead. What's going on, man? You you have you have a, a questionable look in your eye, man. Let me tell you. Yeah, this is not working. Oh yeah, it's not working. It ain't working. I forgot. Hey, what you, you, hey, hold on, I got you, I got to check. You believe in the Bible? What's your ethnicity? What's your ethnicity? African-American. African-American, yeah. all right, bet, bet, bet. You believe you in the Bible? You stay believe in the Lord? Huh? I do. You do? Yeah. Let me show you what you got to do so you believe in it. Give me Ecclesiastes 32. All right, all right I got to show you. I got you. You stay right there, bro. I'm going to show you what boxing gym it is. All right, man. Hold on. So you believe in the Lord? Say that. I do. All right, let me show you. Yeah. It's a Sirach 32, the verse 24. Go ahead. He that believeth in the Lord. He that believeth in the Lord, like you said, go ahead. Taketh heed to the commandment. Yeah, take heed to the commandment. So since you believe in the Lord, then you gotta take heed to the commandment that the Lord placed in him for so-called blacks, Latinos, native and some Indians, man. How you feel about that? That's what you gotta do, man. That's that's what a man of the Lord is supposed to do. Stand up and do the righteous thing. You know what I'm saying? Keep the faith. You know what I'm saying? So that's what we out here teaching our people. That the kingdom of heaven that hey, you ever heard your Israelite before? You ain't never heard them. No. Dang, you, you ever um, you know um, who color you think Christ is according to the Bible? Okay, you know that. Yes. Let me show you a prophecy right Okay, go to Deuteronomy 42. Nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, let me show you okay. Okay. This is Isaiah 42 and 22. Right, but this is a people robbed. Yeah, this is a people robbed. And spoiled. They are all of them snared in holes. And they are hid in prison houses. They are what? They are all of them snared in holes. Snared in holes. You, have, you listen to rap music? Yeah. What, what, um, you know what the word snare means? Snared in holes. What you think that means? It wasn't, okay, not the answer, but it's an old English word that means trap. Yeah. You listen to rap music, oh, okay. what all they talk about, they, I'm on trap now. they in the yeah. trap. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So it said these people were the people robbed and spoiled, snared in holes. Go ahead. And they are hid in prison houses. Hid in prison houses. Who fill up the prison houses? So called black, the minority, so called blacks and Latinos. So, right here, it's telling you that the Israelites was going to be in, um, they was going to be in a trap and they was going to be hid in prison houses. So, who else they got? They can't fit nobody else on earth. That's only us. That's only us right there. So, that's how we know our forefathers wrote this book, man. And it's for you to come back to the Lord and really know who you are as a person. You know what I'm saying? Let me give you one more. It's Isaiah chapter 51. Verse 20. Go ahead. Thy sons have fainted. Thy sons have fainted. Go ahead. They lie at the head of all the streets. They lie at the head of all the streets. You go to any neighborhood in America, any hood, who's going to be in the, at the corner stores and who's going to be hanging on the street? Oh, oh, we, that's what we do. It don't matter where we go. We're going to find a hangout spot on the street, chilling, like, doing something, even doing something wicked or just doing something. Go ahead. As a wild bull in a net. A wild bull in a net. If you put a bull in a net, it's going to be going crazy. So they just show you we be on the corners doing crazy stuff. Ooh, who else they fit? They don't even fit the uh, this same what the Israelites is gonna do, but they fit everything that so-called blacks and Latinos do. That's how we know this Bible was written for us and that we know we the Israelites, man. Right? 
They are full of the fury of the Lord. They're full of the fury of the Lord. So now we're trying to get on the Lord's good side because we disobeyed him. So that's why we're full of the fury. That's why we oppressed in this Lord's state because we disobeyed the Lord and not follow the commandments. And now we're trying to come back to the commandments to get on the Lord's good side to get his fury known. You know so you got to repent and be converted, man. What you okay. think about that, all right? How I appreciate they, uh, that, fellas. You're an Israelite, all right? I really appreciate, appreciate all right, that. Man, you are? Yeah, yeah, she doesn't. Oh, okay. I appreciate it, fella. Hey, what you doing? You see how wicked the devil was in Israel? You see what I'm saying? She said, this is my dude. She did. Yeah, she's back. Let's go. She's back in there. Yeah, she's like, I'm surrounded by all these black guys. Let me get this real quick, man. Let me get this. What? This is Isaiah 3 and 12. As for my people, children are their oppressors. And women rule over them. And what? Women rule over That's them. That's why she rolled up on bro. Gently grabbing his arm. He, he didn't even say nothing to him. He's like, okay, we got it. It's time to go. Like, you see how she got a dirty look to do it, bro? I'm telling you, bro. She the... Anyway, that's not the point. I'm here to talk about Jake, bro. Give me that. Go back to Jeremiah 3 and start at verse 22. Well, what we need to do out here is repent for the kingdom of heaven is at this is Matthew uh -huh. chapter 3, verse 2. Right? And say, repent ye, uh -huh. for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. John the Baptist was trying to tell you niggas back in the day, repent ye, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand, man. It's not, our, our time of salvation is nigher than we believe. We need to adorn that white garment. We need to get right and admit that we've done wrong, man. Give me that in Jeremiah 22, uh, 3 and 22. This is Jeremiah 3 and 22. Read. Return ye backsliding children. Return ye backsliding children. Return you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Read on. And I will heal your backsliding. And he's going to heal our backslidings if we return from our backsliding. Stop doing wickedness and repent. Read on. Behold, we come unto thee, for thou art the Lord our God. We need to come unto the Most High. We need to go to him. Read. Truly in vain is salvation hoped for uh -huh. from the hills. Truly in vain is salvation hoped for from all these governments, the white man, the United States American government, Black Lives Matter, all these little these little organizations that are out and about. You think you're going to get saved or make something better with it. Truly in vain is salvation hoped for in these things. Read on. Uh -huh. From the multitude of the mountains, uh -huh. truly in the Lord our God is the salvation of Israel. Truly in Yahweh is the salvation of Israel through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. Read on. For shame has devoured the labor of our fathers from our youth. There's been shame that has devoured us since we were young, since we were before, uh, 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 even formed in the womb, man. You think slavery was a shameful thing to happen to us, and it's still affecting us to this day. That shame still covers us. We don't. Their flocks and their herds, their sons and their daughters. Read. We lie down in our shame. We fly down in our shame, man. Go on. And our confusion covereth us. And now we've been confused, man. We live in a. We literally live in the land of confusion. Babylon the Great, man. The land of confusion. Right. Read. Kind. It goes on to say, uh -huh. for we have sinned against the Lord our God. We have what? We have sinned against the Lord our God. We need to confess and say, we have sinned, Abinaw Yahweh. We have sinned against the Most High God. Read. We and our fathers from our youth, even unto this day. Even unto this day. Every, even since Egypt, unto this day. On July, 20, uh, July 31st of 2020, we have sinned unto this day. Read. From our youth, even unto this day, uh -huh. and have not obeyed the voice of the Lord our God. We have not obeyed the voice of Abinawa Yahweh, man. We have not done so. A few of us have, but he wants all of us to get it right, man. The most, like, like, like the powerful officer Asad says, man, the most high God has some bad-ass children. We some hard-headed children, bro. Read on. I'm going to read in the four. No, read in the four. Read in the four? Read in the four. You got a precept? Jeremiah 4, verse 1. It's a lot. Go ahead and get that precept. This is Baruch. Chapter 2, verse 30. Uh -huh. For I knew that they would not hear me. He what? For I knew that they would not hear me. The most I knew that we would not hear him. That we would not hear him, man. That's why he sent his, that's why he sent out his prophets to us, man. Or to him, man. God. He, he, he got his people to go out. That's the same thing with Moses. He knew he told Moses, they're not gonna listen. But the, but I'm gonna put my words in your voice. 
<laughs> Go ahead. Because it is a stiff neck peep. It's a what? Stiff neck peep. Y'all are some stiff neck, hard headed, hard hearted people, man. Y'all haven't changed. Some of us have. That's why we have brothers up here today. We even have some sisters who try to be virtuous, hence try. You know? And, you know, all we can do at this point is try to do our best out here, man. But we are still collectively some hard headed, hard hearted, stiff necked people. Read. But. In the land of their captivities. In the land of their captivities. Which is where we're at right now, man. We're in the land of our captivities. Read. They shall remember themselves. We should remember ourselves. And that's not just going to remember that you're an Israelite. You have to remember what comes with being an Israelite, man. That comes with keeping the Most High God's laws, statutes, commandments to the best of your ability. Understand you come from nobility. Understand that you have a duty and a debt to the Most High God. That's what you have to remember. You have to bethink yourself, man. Do more on that? Uh, no, that's not the point. No, go ahead. Read that. Uh, go back to Jeremiah 4. Read the Bible. Jeremiah 4, verse 1. Read. If thou wilt return, O Israel. If thou wilt what? Return, O Israel. So if we return from our backsliding. If. If we return from our backsliding. And we confess our sins to the Most High God through Yahweh's side, man. If we let it be known, I've done wrong. I'm unclean. I, I, I need to return from my backsliding, man. What's going to happen? Return unto me, and if thou wilt put away thine abominations. So if we turn unto the Most High and cast away our abominations, what will happen? If, if we return, read, thou wilt put away thine abominations out of my sight, uh -huh. then shalt thou not remove. Then shall we not be removed. Read on. And thou shalt swear the Lord liveth. And we shall swear that the Most High God liveth, man. He is the great and everlasting living power. The only living power. That's right. That's right. That is the only power that is going to bring us salvation and destroy this wicked kingdom, man. Go on. In truth, in judgment, and in righteousness. And what? In truth, in judgment, and in righteousness. In truth, in judgment, and in righteousness, man. Stay right there. Get me. Hold where you at. Give me, uh, 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 give me Psalms 119, 147. You give me, uh, 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 know you not that the uh, saints shall judge the world. Give me that. First Corinthians 2. Give me that. Whoever gets it first. I want, I want that Psalms first, though. Psalms 119. And then after you get that, I want you to go to uh, uh, Deuteronomy 6 and 25. What's your ethnicity? What's your ethnicity? Ethnicity. Americano. Americano? Hey, Americano and Moreno, somos la familia. Where are you going? Where are you Get this man a flyer real quick. Hey, hey, hey somos Israelitas. Hey, translate. Inter. <laughs> Por favor. <laughs> Speak English, right? Speak English? Okay. Que representa. Okay, come, come, come. Hey, you're... Americano? Huh? Somos los Israelitas. Huh? Somos los Israelitas de la Biblia. Sí. There we go. He's got it. He's got it. Yeah. He's got it. Read. Americano? Yeah, I want... Hold that. I got it. This is Psalms... 119, 147. Read. I prevented the dawning... Uh, Slot 142, that writes itself like, it's a lot. Yeah. Psalms 119, verse 142. Read. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. Go on. And thy law, thy what? Thy law, thy, thy, thy law, law is what? Is the truth. The law of the Most High God is the truth. That's right. Now give me Deuteronomy 6 and 25. That's the truth. So, so that's 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 the truth right there. Now let's see what the righteousness is. Read. Deuteronomy 6, 25. Uh, and this shall be our righteousness. Right. If we observe. If we what? Observe. Read. To do all these commandments. No, some of them. All these commandments. None of them. All these commandments. Read. For the Lord our God. Uh-huh. As he commanded us. And that's going to be the righteousness. So now we have both the law showing us to be righteous and it's also the truth. Now, let's see who's going to be casting out judgment other than Abinah, Yahweh, Wah, Yahweh, Shah. Give me that. This is 1 Corinthians 6 and verse 2. Uh -huh. Do you not know? Do you, do you not know? 
That the, what? That the Saints? That who? The Saints? Give me, give me that song. 149. Uh, 148. Go ahead. Shall judge the world? No, we can't judge. Shall judge the world? Who's gonna judge the world? Shall judge the Saints? Shall judge the world? Do you not know that the Saints shall judge the world? Who are the Saints? Give me that. 148 and uh, 18. Uh, 14. It's a lot. Go ahead. Go back. This is Psalms 148, verse 14. Read. He also exalted the horn of his people. His people, the Israelites, go on. The praise of all his saints. The praise of what? All, all his, his saints, saints. Which are who? Even of the children of Israel. Those are who the saints are. Read. A people near unto him. The people near unto him. Praise ye Yahweh. Praise ye Yahweh. Man. Call hello. Call hello, but now Yahweh, man. By Hashem HaMashiach Yahweh So the law is the truth. When we keep the truth, which is the law, we establish our righteousness. That's and right. we as the children of Israel have that obligation. For That's we right. are the saints that shall judge the world, man. God. Lord willing, we are among the elect who gets put in that office, man. That's right. Go back in Jeremiah 4. Jeremiah 4, verse 2. Uh -huh. And thou shalt swear the Lord liveth in truth, in judgment, and in righteousness. Law, this is reading. <laughs> Go on. Hey, and thou shalt swear the Lord liveth uh -huh. in truth. In truth. Read. In judgment. In judgment. Read. And in righteousness. And in righteousness, man. Go on. And the nations shall bless themselves in him. Uh huh. And in him shall they glory. Go on. For thus saith the Lord to the men of Judah uh -huh. and Jerusalem. Read. Break up your fellow ground and sow not among thorns. <laughs> you see? We're not supposed to be doing this, man. Hey. We're not supposed to be sowing among thorns. We need to go to a fruitful soil, man. Mm -hmm. Go on. Kind of, those ain't those who ain't worried about the, the words of the world and riches, right? Exactly. Huh? Go ahead. It says circumcise it. it says, <laughs> circumcise yourselves to the Lord and take away the four skins of your heart. See, and they want to say that circumcision is only in the New Testament, but here it is in the Old. Read that again. <laughs> circumcise yourselves to the Lord uh -huh. and take away the four skins of your heart. Unharden your heart, black, Hispanic, and native man, woman, and child. Read. Ye men of Judah uh -huh. and inhabitants of Jerusalem. Read. Lest my fury come forth like fire. So if we don't unharden our hearts, and stop walking in our stiff neck ways and come back to the Most High, acknowledge we've done wrong, and return from our backslidings. What are we gonna run into? And burn, and let my fury come forth like fire. And the Most High's fury is gonna come like fire, like how this place is gonna be destroyed. Read on. That, and burn that none can quench it because of the evil of your doing. Because of the evil, no one can stop it, man. That's why no one's been able to redeem us out of the situation that we've been. We've been raped. We've been robbed, we've been murdered, we've been sold to slave, to, to be slaves unto a, a people who are uh, mentally, physically, and spiritually weaker than us, man. God. And we had to stop until what? We come back to these laws, statutes, and commandments. Read on. Is that it on fire? That's it. That's, you want fire? Yeah, let me see. Verse four, five. Clear and Judah. Simple. No, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it on that. But that, that that's what we need to do, man. We need to come back turn from our backsliding, admit that we've done wrong, keep these laws, statutes, and commandments so that way we can get the hell up out of here, man. Yeah. And then we can see America be destroyed by thermonuclear destruction, Lord willing, we are among the elect and the one-third of 144,000, man. That's right. right. Understand that. But with that, I want to say, call hello, abanao, yahawa, ba'ashim, hamashiach, yahawa, shai, wa'amawakla, ba'ba'o. Ba'amawakla, ba'ba'o.